Hello and welcome aboard the Aqua Patio 220 AD. This amazing family cruising pontoon is loaded with upgraded features. Let's take a look. We're up in the bow of the 220. A couple of nice features I want to point out to you. As you can see, we've got a very easy to operate forward boarding gate. There's no latch system at all. Simply lift that gate and swing it open. The forward deck on this boat actually has a, an optional teak decking surface. It's really, really sharp looking. And up here on the forward deck, uh, you can't see it, but there we've got stainless steel rail inserts up here, pop-up stainless cleats with that Aqua Patio logo. Just some very, very nice touches. Moving into the forward seating area, you'll see the beautiful, beautiful textured upholstery we've got up here. Easy to get comfortable on this boat. Nice textured vinyl, double stitch seams. We've got this removable armrest with cup holders in it. Really place it wherever you need it. Put this over here to show you how beautiful this upholstery is. Notice the uh, really nice color contrast here. Very stylish. And I wanted to show you how much storage this boat has. Polyline storage throughout, very easy to take care of. And this boat actually has these drop-in shelves as well for holding smaller items, makes it very easy access. Take a look at the backrest on here now. Look how comfortable this is. Overstuffed headrest, nice angle uh, for the forward facing lounge here. Uh, Aqua Patio logo sewn right into the headrest there. And when you lift this open, something people don't think a lot about, um, we've got a concealed trash receptacle here. All the wrappers and soda cans that you accumulate over the course of a day, just toss them in here and dump it out at the end of the day. Moving over to the uh, opposite lounge here, just take a look at how much space we've got. Again, that beautiful upgraded vinyl. Plenty of places to get uh, comfortable here. Lots and lots more storage. Again, another concealed trash receptacle here. And take a look at the upgraded stereo system on this. And notice this beautiful wood grain here, this Polk audio system. Really, really sounds nice, especially when you have that uh, upgraded uh, subwoofer there. This boat is also configured with a convenient side entry gate. When you pull up to the dock, your passengers will really appreciate this nice wide gate to get on and off the boat. Also great for bringing gear aboard as well. Has that very easy to operate latch system as well. Uh, simply lift it up and drop it into that notch and it's safely in place. If you've got kids on board, you're really going to appreciate this. You always know it's closed securely. We've also got this color side panel here. Uh, that color also matches all the other uh, design components of the boat, including this oversized bimini top that we've got here. Just take a look at how big this top is. Uh, provides shade for almost half the boat. Very easy to put up and take down. And nice place to get out of the sun if you've been on the water all day. Especially kids will really appreciate that. Now let's take a look at this helm station here. Uh, everything's extremely well designed. As you can see, plenty more storage down here. Normally you put a cooler down here to get it out of your way. You don't want that underfoot. Nice uh, design, ergonomic design on the uh, dashboard as well. All the switches right at your fingertips. Some nice high contrast gauges. We've got these shades on them. Nice design feature. Also provides a little protection from the sun. Makes it easier to read. Nice little quarter windshield here. Convenient cup holders everywhere you look. Marine radio. Beautiful adjustable steering wheel here. Very easy to get comfortable no matter how you want to drive the boat. Plenty of room for aftermarket electronics. Nice throttle placement there. And a really, really nice captain's chair. Very comfortable. Notice the headrest. Again, that beautiful textured vinyl. Double stitched. Also these adjustable armrests. Really, really hold you into the seat. Give you a nice confident feeling when you're driving the boat. Now let's take a look at the cockpit lounge in the 220. As you can see, the comfortable seating really continues back here in that beautiful upgraded vinyl, that textured vinyl, the incredible design features with the upholstery colors. Um, tons more storage back here, as you can see, this polylined storage, very low maintenance, easy to take care of, plenty of space for all your fenders and life jackets, anything you're going to bring aboard. So I wanted to point out how this nice aft facing lounge here, really comfortable headrest, nice angled backrest and armrest. And also we've got another one of these 
uh, concealed trash receptacles. Really neat feature on this boat. Taking a look at this pedestal table, you can see we're continuing that beautiful wood grain through the entire boat. Uh, if you're entertaining, convenient cup holders everywhere you look. Got this molded lip around the table so any belongings you've got on here are not going to slide off when you're underway. This table is also removable if you want to uh, take it off the boat and uh, if you don't need to have a use for it that day. Also, take a look at the angle we've got here. We've got this uh, really provides for a nice passageway from the rear of the boat to the front of the boat. Uh, really neat design here with this angled uh, surface. Back here we've got an enormous sun pad, again with that beautiful textured vinyl, very, very low maintenance and very comfortable. Thick padding here, you've got a bolster, and that when you're laying out here catching some rays, you're really going to appreciate that. That's going to reduce that feeling you have of rolling off of the, uh, the back. Of course, you're not going to ride up here when you're underway, but for catching rays, this is absolutely a nice feature. 220 is built to carry up to 13 passengers, and they'll really appreciate this next feature. Lift up the sun pad here, swing this little door open, and lift up this enormous sun pad. You'll see we've got a huge pop-up changing room here. Perfect spot to get out of wet clothes if you've been in the water all day. This is the 220 AD, which stands for aft deck. And I want to show you, go through the rear boarding gate here. Operates just the same as the other two on this boat. You can see we've carried this beautiful teak decking option back here. Really, really nice looking. A couple other features to point out. These stainless steel rail inserts on all the corners. Pop-up stainless cleats. We've even got a stainless ski bar here. You simply hook your tow rope and uh, pull your wakeboarders, water skiers, or tubes. This particular boat's configured with a Yamaha 150 uh, outboard. Nice power match on this boat, but also uh, by buying an aqua patio, uh, you should know that you can really choose your power options. We work with all the uh, engine manufacturers. Anybody who's been out in the water will really appreciate this. Uh, convenient flip down boarding ladder. Simply drop that into the water to climb up using these aluminum handholds to hoist yourself back onto the deck. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Aqua Patio 220 AD. It's really loaded with comfortable cruising features. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.